Hello everyone, in this Flips Teacher Professional Learning video, we are going to be discussing why Twitter is a valuable tool for teachers. I often hear from people that Twitter is just cat videos, sports and politics. The beauty of Twitter is that you only see what you want to see on it. I want you to visualize it as a fast flowing river. Imagine that you are very thirsty, you wouldn't try and drink the whole river. You would dip a cup in and drink just from the cup. So the Twitter stream, what you see on your Twitter feed is what is in that cup. So if all you're seeing is cat video, sports and politics or anything else that you don't want to be seeing, it's because the people that you are following, that's what they're tweeting about. So if you want to see education-based tweet, uh, tweets, then follow people who are tweeting about education. All right, moving on. Why do you want to use Twitter as a tool for professional learning? There's a lot of reasons. Uh, it helps you actually meet your accreditation requirements here in Australia. Uh, as Australian teachers will be aware, we need to conform with the accreditation requirements set out by AITSL. Um, Andrea Stringer, who's an excellent educator to follow with lots of really good ideas, uh, she's written an article that talks about how Twitter has helped her meet her uh, requirements to meet the teaching standards. And she's actually laid out specifically what the standards are and how that how she's been able to meet those standards with Twitter. But that's a really, really great article to read and uh, give you a lot of good ideas and show you some different ways of using Twitter. I'd very strongly recommend that article to you. It's great for interacting with other teachers, for engaging with other teachers in similar year groups, in similar subject areas, and getting ideas, sharing uh, best practice and learning from each other. I've connected with a teacher in the US and we're teaching different grade levels. However, I've learned a lot from him, a lot of different ideas for how to physically arrange the classroom for some teaching ideas. And that's the beauty of Twitter. I can connect with any teacher in the world who is on Twitter and we can share ideas and best practice. Uh, if you can't attend a conference physically, which we often can't because of cost, you have to pick and choose, Twitter is fantastic. If people aren't engaging in that conference via Twitter, you can attend virtually. That's absolutely fantastic. And this is where the use of the hashtag will come into play because that hashtag will let you capture all of the tweets from that particular event. Uh, it allows you to engage in research. There are a lot of academic, uh, a lot of educational researchers on Twitter and you can engage with that, with those people here and you can stay in touch with the up-to-date educational research. It also allows you to have moments of wonder. You'll see a tweet from somebody and you'll go, oh, I'd never thought of that. Why would you want to use Twitter as a tool for teaching and learning in the classroom? Lots and lots of different ways you can do that. You can provide a, a window into your classroom to family. You're in the room with your students every day, but your students' parents and their family are not. This allows you to post photos and some short videos of students at work, of students' completed work. Uh, it's an absolutely fantastic way of allowing parents and family to see what's going on in this in their child's classroom and to see what they're learning. So when they get home, instead of going, oh, how was school today? What did you learn? Uh, they can ask, oh, I saw that photo that your teacher put up about that artwork that you did today. That was fantastic. Talk to me about that. Uh, it allows parents to engage in those conversations a lot easier. It allows you to connect with other classes around the world. Uh, for example, if you were learning about another culture, you might look at trying to connect with a class that was in the country that you're looking at. Uh, so my class has recently been learning about the Chinese influence on Australian culture. You might like to connect with a classroom in China and learn about their history that way by engaging in conversations with those students. Uh, it allows you to do collaborative learning. You can do online projects or collaborative projects with other classes. I've seen that happen quite a lot. Mystery Skype is absolutely fantastic. Jump on Google and check that one out if you've not heard of that before. It allows you to connect with subject matter experts. If you're learning about um, science, for example, connect with a scientist. Uh, if you're doing a particular science unit, uh, for example, about, it's about space, try and connect with NASA. It also allows you to engage with live video events. Recently, my class was able to watch sitting in our classroom in Australia, two o'clock in the afternoon, we were able to watch the live video stream of a resupply rocket launch to the ISS, the live launch in Cape Canaveral, Florida at 
about 4.30 a.m. Florida time. We were able to watch the five or so minutes leading up to it, hear the conversations between the control room and the rocket, the, the, the astronauts, watch the launch and the, the five or ten minutes afterwards, and the engagement and the interest and the excitement from the students about that event was absolutely amazing. But Twitter allows you to do that. And I was like, you know what, we're not learning about, about space at this moment in time, but that's an amazing learning opportunity. We're gonna jump on that, and the students absolutely loved it. Very, very quick video. Feel free to pause and rewind and watch this again. Um, the next video in this series will actually start to take a look at how to use Twitter uh, in a few different ways. Uh, if you have any comments, any feedback, please leave them in the comment section below or connect with me on Twitter. You can find me uh, at 21st C Teaching. Thanks for watching and we'll speak to you next time.